more panels, more problems. That could be the reality for the U.S. as the Biden administration announces $7 billion in new federal solar power grants. The move comes as parts of the country take steps to slash solar incentives because too much energy is being provided. And that actually ends up costing people more. Let me back up. The funding from the White House unveiled on Earth Day is expected to power close to a million homes and will reduce emissions in the process, the equivalent to burning over 3 billion gallons of gasoline. Federal officials believe this solar initiative will help save people a combined $350 million every year. However, some states already excelling at solar are currently rolling back financial incentives for these types of renewable energy projects. We're talking about California, Arkansas, Idaho, Indiana, Hawaii, and North Carolina. California in particular is likely to see a steep drop off in solar installations, projected to fall by as much as 40% this year. That's because the state is already throwing away millions of megawatts of energy due to its surplus of panels. And throwing away power translates to higher electricity prices. This happens when residential solar panels try to give energy back to the grid that isn't needed. It's ultimately thrown out homeowners don't get the breaks on their power bills that would otherwise have come. These savings could still be accessed if they buy a solar battery storage system, enabling them to save that excess power. But installing this technology in your home can be expensive, running somewhere between $12,000 and $20,000. So while solar panels benefit the environment and cost less than other carbon-intensive energy sources, it could be too much of a good thing.